I'm down here in McGee, Arkansas, at McGee Public School, where I went to school at. Uh, junior high down there, football field behind me, the track. Man, I remember just a lot of things. High school right over here, I just remember a lot of things. We're just going to go around McGee today. I'm just going to show you some things in McGee where I grew up and just McGee, just period. Uh, McGee is just a small town, uh, but there's a lot of historical things here. Man, I had fun growing up here in the 90s. Uh, like I said, McGee, let's go. Man, just coming to school every morning. Just we used to hang out over there. You know what I'm saying? Over there, they used to be the, the hangout spot. This wasn't here. That that wasn't here. But we going down here to the junior high, where uh, it all started in the seventh grade. I'm gonna show you where we used to. The bus dropped us off at, and it was it was it was fun growing up here. You know, small town. You know. And, you know, like I said, this wasn't here. We didn't have two gyms. We had one. I'm gonna show you the gym um, after this, you know, and everything. And we'll go around the school. Uh, that's what home ec was over there. That building right there wasn't there. I know that's probably the alternative building. I don't know. I, I, uh, we used to call it A school. It used to be over there. It used to be way over there. Yeah. This what we used to call it. I think I remember, but. We used to come out here and get, you can come out here doing, you know, recess, lunch break, and hang out here. They had snack machines in, right in this place. We had soda machines, snack machines, vending machines. So this was one of the places where we hung out and met with your friends, you know, whatever, whatever. And you know, you had your little lunch money and you could get you some snacks. Yeah. This right here wasn't even here. Well, it was, but this road, you couldn't drive through here. You know, you know what I'm saying? I remember when you started letting them drive through but I see it from home there. But this used to be a field right here. This used to be a field, grass. This is what we used to practice at. You know what I'm saying? We never practice on the game field. We always practice on the practice field. So, that was the practice field over here. This is the basketball gym right over there. This was the gym, basketball gym, we had a game. This wasn't here. This wasn't here, we didn't have it here. That's like they got a little movie thing or something, but that wasn't here. That that wasn't here. You used to go in. You had to go that way to purchase your tickets. You got a lot of people on the wall there. Yeah, football players and basketball players, and but this the gym where I used to play basketball at. I see they say you got to purchase tickets online. Wow. That, that'd be hard something to do, but yeah, that this, this that wasn't there. You used to come up, you had to go in, and that, a table would be there, and you paid to get in. That was it. That was no tickets. Oh, off season. This would be called off season. This right here is what we used to 
have off season. This door right here, you, this door right here used to always have to be open. It used, to, it, used to, it used to have to always be open because it used to be so hot in there, man. It used to be so hot in there. And man, we used to have off season in there. And we had just, we didn't really have a lot of waste. And see, now they got a big field house over there, a nice field house. And the field house have a big weight room. They got turf football field in there to practice on when it rains. But we, like I said, we never got to practice on the game field. But this is what we had off season, right up in here. I wish we were going, I could show you the weights. But yeah, it's changed a lot. When we walk in, we our weight room was in a little, that side of that room right there where they glass at. It was a little small room. We had a bench press and squat, squat rack, and that was it. Pickles, but I remember the pizza and hot dogs and popcorn during the football games. It was lovely. Mm -hmm. well, yeah, that's the scoreboard right over there. But this our track, our track used to be black. <laughs> our track wasn't red, our track was black. So, yeah, this is the stands where we used to sit. We used to always sit over here. They didn't, the band was somewhere, I think on this side or somewhere on this side, but they didn't have no roof over their head. But, you know, all the blacks, we kind of sat right up, there, up in here. This was our section right here. Now, people who purchased tickets early or something, I don't know, special people, they sat that way or sat over there, I don't know. But we had maybe this little much of a section. And we sat right here. Not saying that in no, you know, way, but we can't, this one, because we had it crunk down this way, you know, so, yeah. This is where I ran track in, this is where I broke the records in, this is where I, I found out that I was fast at, right here, this track right here. I was in the seventh grade, no, I was in the eighth grade when I found out that I was fast, you know what I'm saying, when I found out when I was fast. When I was in eighth grade, this guy named Robert Criff, Gave me some kangaroo track shoes. I didn't even know what track shoes was. They had the track shoes, they had the spikes at the bottom where you gotta, they gotta be, you know, for the track for you to, to run in. Got those, never got beat since then. Never got beat since then from nobody in McGee. Nobody in McGee. A guy beat me one time from McGee and that was in prelims. That was prelims. But the finals, I got first and he got fourth. So that let you know, I just let him win. But never got beat since then from anybody from McGee. Eighth grade to 12th grade, I held it down. This right here used to be called the Cracker Box, before it was called this. One of my classmates, he owned this, his name Eric Green, but it used to be called the Cracker Box. We used to get dropped off here after the basketball games. Your parents had to come pick you up if they didn't pick you up at the school. Uh, but sometimes we caught the bus here. But this was called the Cracker Box, and a little convenience store had gas pumps, and. Just have fun back in the days, man. But this is where I used to grow up on, on Railroad Street. We used to live right down there where the trailer at. And uh, but we used to we used to run up and down the street, man, and have fun. This is where my friend Leo used to live. And Keys and Tamika Franklin used to stay right there. Earl Poe and Linda Poe knew. Used to live right there, but it was another trailer right there. But there's a dog down there. We ain't going all the way that far, but them the railroad tracks right here. We used to we used to go in there and get them rocks and hit them trains. Boom! Boom! You know. But we used to run all up and down this road, man. From all the way here, all the way down there, riding bikes. It used to be the alley back there. It used to be the alley back there. Here, I want you to get in a bit of it. This Tina house used to sit right behind Leo house. She was our school bus driver. My house used to sit right there and there was the alley right back there. I would take you back there, but these are people yards and I was right there. I'd show you why I used to play basketball, why I put up the first rim. It used to be fun. Hang out over right up here. We used to hang out right up here. He used to call, he called Ellis's. Mr. Ellis used to own this and they had some good hamburgers. We used to come up here. You can come up here and get you a hamburger, but when you were 16 and stuff, you couldn't come party, but you can go back there as a restaurant also, and you can go to hamburgers late at night, 11, 12 o'clock. So we live right over here, so it was easy to get over here. We used to, and we moved back over there in this area, right around the corner, so it was easy to come over here to get burgers late at night.
So, you know, we had a good time. We just hang out. We, you can hang out up here. We just hang out up on the side while we're right there. Hang out all up there. And here, I want you to get married for you. Yeah. This is all Main Street, but we used to hang out all over there, over there. And, you know, like I said, Ruin House across the street. So it was, it was a party street, man. And it started dying out probably about, probably started dying out probably about in the late 90s, early 2000s. And, but now they, people just throw party, parties up there. So it was some memories. All right. This is another place where we used to stay. It's called B Street. Like I said, it's right around the corner from Ellis's. Used to be a house right here. They knocked it down. It was a little small yellow house, but it had it had three bedrooms and it was, it was small. And had memories here, man. I used to have my weight set right back there where that tree at. Mr. Peacock and them used to stay right there. But uh, but we used to stay right here. And man, we used to have fun. We used to run up and down the street. We used to my uh one of my friends, one of my classmates, used to stay down there. Michael Taylor. Well, he was my class. He was a year ahead of me. He was the quarterback when I was in the eleventh grade. Uh, he stayed down there, and there was a house right here. But we used to have fun, man. We used to have to put a basketball goal right up sometimes, but we used to go to the park and play basketball all the time. But this is where we stayed at. But this wasn't here right here. Right here. This radio station that they had. I can't miss from Morgan. I think that's his name. But that's a radio station that he started. But we moved in this area. Go ahead and get the area. Go ahead and get all of it. Yeah, it was fun though. We had fun. This is where I used to play basketball at. This is where I learned how to play b-ball at, right here. Right here at the park. Yep. I used to, I used to be dead right here in this corner. Right here. This corner, right here. I played, man, I played this park from, man, junior high all the way to, I graduated. I used to, used to walk way from over where I showed you where I live at. Let's get this park, man. It's, it's, it's a good park. But the city ain't taking care of it. You know, but right, let me see if I still got it. Let's see. Oh. oh. Well. But this is why I this is why I used to play basketball at. People used to sit over there on the swings and and this is why some of them used to come through. Right here. And used to come from right over there walking through. But it was great, man. It was great. All right, man, I just went through McGee, showed y'all where I live at, and just a little bit of McGee. You know, we got a Walmart, we got a Sonic, we got a Subway, but we didn't have all that back in the day. We had a Sonic, we had a Walmart, we had a Pizza Inn, we had all those things, and you know, and you know, it was a small town, but I'm glad I grew up here, and I learned some things. When you grow up in a small town, you know, it develops a stronger heart when you go out into the world, you know? I tell a lot of people that, because a lot of people try to talk about small town but I want to thank my son for uh, doing a camera for me being my cameraman and, and everything like that he got his own channel YouTube channel what is it called uh, Melvin Melvin he does a lot of gaming there was a lot of filming he got a lot of short films he do he got a black IP man he got all that go there and subscribe at his channel uh, you know and keep up with his videos and everything like that you got a thing you want to say yeah um well, times have changed around here you know, things are changing because, you know, but... But you wasn't, this, you, 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 wasn't, you wasn't back in the days when I was growing up, so... Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, definitely so, I was I was. But not, we, we, didn't, we didn't really have a lot of stuff, man, you know, but what y'all got now on YouTube and all that yeah. stuff, but... Everything's more technical nowadays and yeah, stuff, yeah. so... Yeah, so, yeah, but, 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 yeah, um, that's it, man. Uh, I thank y'all for watching. And, uh, you know, you ever go down to McGee, go down to their football games, you know, and basketball games. Uh, we have uh, doing homecoming. We have uh, the Owl Fest. Mm -hmm. You know, bring your kids. They have a lot of things. I'm gonna try to cover the Owl Fest one day. But they have a lot of games and rides for kids and a lot of things going. So, but hey, that's it. We out.